What's going on guys, Chu here bringing you a, another review on Spy X Family and I say this episode was awesome, the way they ended this arc, well really next episode is going to end it officially, but for this portion of the arc, which I consider the ending, the, the next episode is just kind of extra I'll be honest, but this ending was phenomenal, I absolutely loved seeing this arc. Uh, animated the ending scene for me was perfect i love what they did there kind of going creative and just adding something extra that really just makes the story much better but overall really really enjoyed it so without further ado guys let's get to it so there is a lot to talk about for this one because more was revealed to us in this one and i love that anya actually for the first time ever was actually useful in my opinion and lloyd even had to step in and help out because it could have been a win for a short-lived few minutes at best if lloyd had not intervened anya of course helped with the fact of you know with her ability she's able to kind of not only kill people let's be honest she did do that but also helped out your give another badass ending like to some more assassins and of course you're taking the cake for badass having some show tunes in the actual episode fantastic stuff absolutely love that uh, but you're honestly phenomenal everyone had a part to play and they did it great and so in this episode we actually see and I'm, I'm kind of going everywhere here and you have to apologize. I have to apologize for that. Uh, but we have the fireworks ending and we have Anya wanting to help out Yor now. Yor is wrapping up with the Katana guy who is pretty badass. He's still kind of fighting despite the fact that he took a beating last episode. He gets back up. He's fighting. Anya is able to basically have her dad or lloyd be distracted or be away because with him finding out there's a bomb he wants to help out and so of course he can't tell it to anya anya goes into this little daycare uh she runs away from that lloyd goes and helps out but anya goes and finds one of yours weapons uses it to throw kind of closer to her direction actually kills two people in the process which is kind of random and funny but at the same time really fucked up if you think about it and we have you know you're being able to fight katana guy on a more equal level and actually ending the fight uh, meanwhile lloyd of course he's having to defuse this bomb he's able to figure out he's in disguise of course you know he's disguised as an employee or it looks like a captain a captain of the ship and so he's able to blend in perfectly he stops this bomb however we find out thanks to anya who ran away and uh yours fight had ended we find out thanks to anya and the bad guy uh that had been shot and survived from the director we see that he actually smells a bomb and he's like that maniac actually put one out here as well like he wants to take down the ship and so anya again improvises which i absolutely love and and she says, there's a booger over there, and the guy had, like, saw it, and it needs to be cleaned. Guy finds the bomb, thanks to Anya, kind of pointing him in the direction that he needed to go, which really helped out, in my opinion. And so, we have the bad guy running away, trying to find the informant, who was trying to get a good, a good spot to kind of still listen in to everything that's happening, and also being ready to go. We see that he... And the other guy fight only for a short lived time because we see that Lloyd goes and is like, I can't defuse this bomb. I'm going to have to throw it into the water into the ocean. And he throws it right at those guys who end up getting devoured by sharks. I absolutely love that that happened because I did not like those two characters. One was too cocky because he was thinking, you know, he's going to get away with it. And the other one should have died earlier at the director's hand. Um, but. With all the assassins out of the way, all the bombs out of the way, we see Anya get caught by the daycare lady, which was kind of funny. And we had Yor just having to basically say goodbye to the, uh, I guess, Olga and her and her family. Um, it was a sweet little moment. Uh, she she feels that warmth from the kid, that hug. You know, she made she made him feel good. 
and it was nice it was really nice to see and so you know as they're saying goodbye and you know they're on their merry way we see them the director is giving information to your to be careful and all that he's he sees that she's distracted she had gotten attached and he basically rewards her by saying you know the family wants to be with you go be with them um you know this consider this a reward for all your hard work and i'll take care of any stragglers that i find and uh, clean up the mess essentially and so he gives her that time uh lloyd gets out of his disguise he picks up anya who is exhausted beyond belief or you know obviously being a kid and helping out you know they go to sleep and we have that moment that moment in the anime at the very end that i thought was really sweet because we didn't get in the actual you know uh, manga which was i thought phenomenal touch it was really cute i really i really really liked it and um it was a good call to put in there but this definitely wraps up a good good little arc three or four episodes of you know your anya and lloyd having some good action uh of course every one of them were heroes in their own different way and so i thought it was cool and so um for those wondering though uh, anyone wondering what happened to the Olga? did she make it she sure does she actually makes it this is i'm hoping they incorporate this in the next episode but they didn't in this one but she does make it along with the other guy and her child so good ending overall really like that let me know what you guys think though i'd love to hear your thoughts as always i'll stay safe and i'll catch you all later